I've never been really much afraid of rejection. Uh, I just always sort of like to take a chance and just see where it goes. Um, I'm very inquisitive, and sometimes when I'm when I'm interested in someone, um, I feel the most vulnerable. And it's almost like a rush, like right before you get on a roller coaster ride and before you take that dip. Uh, that's what it's like sometimes when you approach someone because you don't know what they're going to say um, and you don't know how it's going to pan out. So I don't know. I guess that's always kind of been my attraction to um, approaching someone. It's just not knowing how it's going to turn out. Um, you know, in my in my book, uh, The Underwear Drawer, I'm, I'm writing currently, it's so interesting, you know, to hear guys, you know, say, especially through social media, how afraid of rejection they are, yet be so quick to judge or call someone quote unquote thirsty, which of course is another way of saying that they're doing, they're overdoing the fact that they're interested in someone. And a quote from my book that I'm saying now is that as much as they're doing as much as they're doing too much, you're doing too little. And um, that fear of rejection just comes from sometimes experiencing it once before or just not having a, a certain amount of confidence or putting yourself on some type of pedestal. Because sometimes in the gay community, we honor, you know, and, and give praise to certain males that look a certain way or have a particular status that we would like to be associated with and it makes everyone else feel like they're beneath them but no one is better or above anyone you know dating is in the gay community is is so hard because there's so many egos and there's so many just psychological things that guys go through that they're not willing to talk about because it is vulnerable to put yourself out like that you just have to judge who to be who to be vulnerable with and it's some of the, it's probably one of the hardest things to decide when you should be vulnerable because if you wait a month a year any, any amount of time you never know how a person is going to treat those most sacred parts of yourself that you hardly ever share with anyone so i just want to share that guys with you I'm really looking forward to this new book coming out, The Underwear Drawer, Spring 2014. Crusaders, I can't wait, and I hope that you love it. Peace.